Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello, Linda. How are you? I received your question. Seems pretty simple enough, which is, hi all. We do a lot of customized orders that requires a 50% deposit before we begin the order. How can I receive the deposit on the order so when I invoice I see the deposit? And how can I show that the deposit applied when I invoice my customer so they can see it? I am using QuickBooks Pro 2010. Thank you, Linda. All right, Linda, well, let's go over to QuickBooks and let me show you. It's very simple from what I see. Um, no big deal. So let's go over and let's take a quick look at it, all right? All right, so we're here in QuickBooks and I went under Create Invoices. So let's say this is your customer and you're going to go ahead and create them an invoice for whatever product. Okay, let's say the product is, let me make this a little bit bigger for you, all right? And let's say the product is going to be quantity of one for five hundred dollars so here we go I'm gonna hit save new and now here's the next step is you're gonna go under customer and you're gonna to go to receive payments receive payments okay and over here I'm gonna drop down a customer one and then of course half of 541 or whatever it is let's say it's 250 that's the deposit you got the deposit they paid you by check or by credit card whatever reference you want to give it deposit into whatever bank it goes into and then you hit basically save and new and actually I did it on the wrong one but that's fine so I did it for invoice number four so basically you'll see over here invoice number four customer one we had a five hundred dollar item over here and down over here we made a 250 payment was applied balance due is 250 and there you go that's how you show your client that you applied a 250 payment and then over here I'm gonna to go to send and I'm gonna to go to hit email and there you go it's gonna email it to wherever you want it to email it to from whatever message you want it to say and that's really it that's as simple as that I think that takes care of your question if it doesn't, please let me know where I went wrong and I will try to help you out some more. All right, you guys. See you next time. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.